welcome to the rope trading communities video and this video is when and where to buy the stock at the right time using volume spread analysis video so this is basically a swing trading concept video so i think we have almost completed everything in terms of volume spread analysis i have uploaded literally from the basics of volume spread analysis the signal of strength signal of weakness and then even wyckoff schematics i have given an introduction how wyckoff schematics works and so on for swing trading users out there right so now we will be looking at in depth and then i'll be simplifying it how to buy the stock at the right time actually in this video so let's get the concept of signal of weakness and signal of strength first by the way so where do you think signal of weakness occurs it occurs on a uptrend right whenever you are having a weakness in the market market will fall like a buying climax and up thrust whatever we have learned previously if you are applying that patterns in the market usually you see a downfall from the end of an uptrend right so now if you are applying the opposite of it that could be the signal of strength so what are the concepts of signal of strength what are the patterns of signal of strength i have already made a videos that is related to stopping volume selling climax no supply so these are the signal of strength right so when you are getting a signal of strength on a downtrend it means that buyers are slowly entering in the market and that is where we will be looking for a buy opportunity and in this video we will be going a little bit complicated where we will be understanding the importance of where to buy a stock at the right time now let's go to the concept right here now i'm not going to explain anything theoretical right here we will directly jump into charts and examples and we will be understanding the market right now now in this concept you can see this, this is a axis bank chart of a 30 minute time frame then i already told you that i trade swing trading specially on 30 minutes and 1 hour right so if you are checking this particular chart right here axis bank so technically market was on a downtrend right so market was on a downtrend and compare the spread and volume right here so where do you recognize the signal of strength right here because we are looking for a buy opportunity right if you are looking for a buy opportunity you should look for signal of strength right here so which are the signal of strength it is simple if there is a down bar with a ultra high volume those are our signal of strength right so in this particular case where is the signal of strength right here so you see there's one particular signal of strength two and three right so technically you got three signal of strength right here so here you got one and two and three you got three signal of strength right here but it, you have to realize one thing right here is market is on a downtrend and the more and more the market goes to the lower low the signal of strength volume is increasing slightly have you observed this so that is the strength of buyers buyers are slowly creating their positions in the market so that is the reason you are getting volumes again and again with an increasing volume so which is the strongest signal of strength right here the third one right here the one which i have marked right here this is a signal of strength is a highest volume right here and now if you are recognizing this signal of strength right here so you have to realize that you are looking for a buy opportunity but where to buy actually that is what we will be understanding right here we will not be getting into what types of entries where to keep a stop loss no we will be recognizing where to buy first that is the ultimate priority right here right so i have given a concept in signal of uh, it could be selling climax or stopping volume i have recommended the users not to buy around the levels but instead wait for the market to go above the signal of strength then look for a buy opportunity right so this is the concept that i have given out out there on youtube and this is what we will be learning it and we will be understanding it properly so first thing market was on a downtrend and volumes are also increasing and you got the ultimate volume market might go down right here but all you have to do is every single time you are getting a ultra high volume draw the levels simple okay you just have to draw the levels and wait for the market to go up if market is going down leave it it's absolutely fine again draw the levels leave it now market is going down 
now again market on us this particular area right here then what happened you're drawing a level and market came up right here so this could be the right opportunity to buy but we will be looking at in depth right here now so what a, what kind of pattern is this this is a stopping volume pattern right stopping volume wide spread bar okay ultra high volume closing on above the 50 percent of the level right now if you're recognizing it properly market went above the levels so here i'll be looking for a buy opportunity but you have to realize what's happening right here most importantly it's not like the market went above this and you're going to go for a buy trade there are different types of entry it could be supply and uh, demand divergence entries it could be jump across the creek entries it could be a simple trend line breakout entries there are different types of entries you can apply it for sure every single one of us have come across price action and a lot of things out there we know different types of entries but it's never about taking a trade right here it's about understanding what's the market phase right now our buyers are present in the market our sellers are present in the market that is what we have to understand first then only we have to take an entry but right here let's assume that now you have a huge signal of strength this is what we are looking at right this is what i draw at the level and right here as you can see market went towards the higher high you got a retracement and again market went up so here you got a huge buy opportunity right here but if you have to recognize it properly right here what happened right here recognize carefully right here so in this particular case market went towards the higher high i see one particular opportunity right here the demand and supply divergence opportunity forget about it well let's talk about it for sure all the vsa students know about it what kind of opportunity i'm talking about right here and now market went towards the higher high now the concept of testing gets back in so usually market has decided that there are buyers present right here so buyers are pushing the markets towards the higher and buyers have entered with huge volume but buyers will test back and see whether there are sellers are present or not so what happens market will come back again if there are sellers around these area so market would create lower low right so market would have gone down right here but what happening right here market came back and tested for supply right here so once they realize that their supply has been exhausted right here and immediately you're getting a gap up with the increasing volume and markets closing especially you call this as a creek if you have watched the previous uh wyckoff schematic videos you would understand what is a creek level so usually this particular phase is called the upthrust phase usually okay so this particular phase is called upthrust phase market came back and immediately you are getting a push towards the higher high right here if you're zooming in properly right here the closing of the jump across the creek right the closing of the jump across the creek is above the upthrust action so that itself is a confirmation saying that buyers are already present in the market the test has been passed and buyers are already present in the market and by the way there are different types of uh, tests and this is in depth it goes on but i'm giving you a overall idea about it that's it okay so now you have an opportunity here also to look for a buy opportunity so i had one opportunity i had two opportunity that gave me a confirmation twice saying that there are buyers in the market not sellers right here immediately market pushed towards the higher high. if there was seller market would have created a down move right but no market is pushing towards the higher high right here but if you're going in depth if you want more confirmation for a buy trade look what happened after that market went up again came back and tested the jump across the creek levels right here right it came back and again you got a demand and supply divergence right here and based on that market created a higher higher right here so technically as a vsa trader i see four types of opportunities right here only buy opportunities so i could have literally taken one trade right here two three and four and if you're wondering why because we shift with 30 minute time frame and a one minute time one hour time frame and right here we might look for demand and supply divergence entries right here right so that will clearly tell us whether there are buyers present in the market or sellers present in the market right so here we got a proper confirmation and then immediately after that market went towards a higher high so this was one of the confirmations where you have to recognize see what happened right here market came down came down came down came down with an increasing volume this indicator this area indicated that there are buyers present to the market and then after how many test one market went up one two three 
after three tests market created a higher high continuously without even looking back at the levels so technically you had literally four opportunities safe opportunities this was a little bit riskier because if market would have reversed from here market would have gone down fine no problem but this confirmation this up bar with a gap up with an increasing volume and the closing above the creek levels that itself is a ultimate confirmation for me saying that there are buyers entering in the market actually right so this was one particular confirmation the safest one would be these three entries actually i'm not talking about entries in simple i'm just talking about how to recognize so simple you can see that market was not creating a lower low instead there was a character change and market was creating a higher higher right here so that was one of the examples on access bank and how to recognize swing trading opportunities in the market i'll give you one more example in depth to understand how swing trading concepts work same example just like a difference chart and different stock that's it okay here we are looking at tata motors okay so tata motors same 30 minute time frame and right here what you are observing right here market is on a lower low market is creating its downtrend right here right now recognize the volume right here most importantly who do you think has a highest volume right here around these area right around these area has a highest volume right here so you have to realize that right every single time when market is reaching a new price on a lower low market's price is increasing why because buyers are interested to buy at a cheaper price they want to buy the stock at a cheaper price so that is the reason they are interested right here now what happened once they reached at this particular area we will be looking for buy opportunities right so even you got one good opportunity right here even after a lower low market retraced and went up towards the higher high but here its intention was only to fill this gap so then immediately sellers entered no problem but you got a proper entry again market came to another good level and here you could have literally draw a level right so now we will be looking at in depth now look at this same area this is this where we, i am drawing it that's it nothing else okay same area market went up came back and broke the lower low right here now this could have been forget, forget about all these things that's happened right here just think about here and right here you would have thought okay fine market broke the lower low right here means there are still buyers out there and i will go for a i will look for a sell opportunity no 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 don't go for that wait for the opportunity because we are swing traders right here we are looking for buy opportunities right we have to wait for the opportunities and right here there was a reason why market came down and bounced back i'll tell you what was the reason in the next slide but you have to realize right here what uh, what's happening right here first thing market came back and immediately bounced back and this particular concept is called spring actually okay so in a wyckoff schematics we have a concept called spring where market test is below the smart money activity right here and once they realize that there are no sellers right here immediately buyers enter with an increasing volume you can see the aggression where market is literally creating a gap up right here so that itself is a aggression saying that there are buyers who have entered properly in the markets right here okay and now after market creating a higher high above the creek levels market came back for a retracement a proper demand and supply divergence and market started creating a higher high right here if you're looking for an opportunity i would have shifted to one hour time frame and here the demand and supply divergence and no demand followed by a confirmation bar gave me an idea that there are no sellers in the market but there are buyers who have entered the market actually so that could be one of the ultimate confirmation for me to look for a buy opportunity right here right i would have taken a trade for sure 100% so this was one of the examples and after that what happened immediately market went towards the higher high and look what is the result right here this is where you would have taken an opportunity and where you have reached literally from 394 to 454 and market is still going on a higher high right here okay literally but now getting back to the concept why there was a spring right here why market came down at first you have to realize that not every single time that market is actually creating a lower low and immediately it will bounce back there should be a reference right there should be a support or a resistance for a bounce back if there is there should be some support right here right there should be some support that is the reason market once bounce back right so you have to realize what happened right here previously also you have to realize the previous price action also right here now 
if we are zooming out right here going back look what happened previously right here now market came down that itself actually gave me a proper support area right here that is one particular strong support where market the buyers aggressively entered at this particular levels of 373 rupees compare the price right here so the buyers aggressively entered at 373 rupees and i can see there is a huge volume right here right compared to all the volumes there is a huge volume right here that itself is indicating that there is a huge smart money's presence right here so right here there is a smart money's presence you understand now think about the most important concept right here why do you think market came down because it was trying to fill this gap it was trying to correct its gap because it was already nearby and that is the reason it was trying to fill the gap it was trying to reach 373.95 right so that was the reason why market created a lower low and immediately bounced back since there were so much aggressiveness of buyers think about it now buyers aggressively entered at this particular area around like months ago now market is coming back to the same level do you think there are buyers who would be interested to buy again on the same price exactly they will be interested on that so that is the reason even before touching the levels right even before touching the area right here market immediately bounce back without even touching 370 market immediately bounce back with a gap up right here and closing literally a market went up and see the momentum after that right here so that is why i told you that there will be always reference it's not like you have to take a trade exactly around like this particular area or this particular area no look for references look for multiple confirmations even before buying a stock actually so in terms of vsa i got one reference exactly i have a ultimate support right here i have a reason why market is filling its gap and i have a reason where to buy and all this combination has given me this much big momentum right here and by the way trust me uh, this will actually give you more results actually compared to any form of traditional trading actually right so because you are understanding the market in depth you are understanding where the buyers are entering where are the actual levels are and what is the demand and supply divergence every single thing you are approaching the right way actually so that was the concept of swing trading and how to buy it in depth we can go ahead because this is these are something that i teach to the one on one uh, students out there i teach in the practical sessions and i'm going to teach in the upcoming days because we are actually coming up with smart money concepts and lot of things in the upcoming days we will be bringing it but it's going to take some time not like immediately but it's going to take some time because we are testing out lot of concepts across uh, with traders across the world actually so that is the reason so we'll get back with you guys and uh, i'll be making more and more content in the upcoming days and yeah so that's it that's for the session and thank you so much we'll see you in the next videos and please if you liked it please subscribe and share it as much as possible the more and more the channel grows the more and more it motivates me to make more videos like this and yeah signing off goodbye